In this video, I want to talk about open editions and the most notable collections, uh, NFT collections in this whole trend. So open editions were really the force of nature just a couple of weeks ago. People were minting basically everything the artist put out. Right now, this kind of narrative a little bit faded away, but most of the strong collections survived and artists or uh, builders are still developing these collections and I want to focus on a couple of them because they are super interesting. Uh, one of them is Open Pepin. Uh, Opepen. Uh, so this is the collection coming from Jack Butcher, the creator of Checks as well. So that was the collection before even uh, starting the Checks. Uh, so as you might know, checks got really popular with the floor price of like 2 ETH right now, even though it was like a free mint basically. So basically it really printed a lot of uh, money for people, uh, but also it's a really nice gamified art and Jack Butcher actually got back to this collection of Pepin and started changing it as well. So the whole game is actually to collect as many as you can bec because then you can maybe get some additional rewards. With checks it's collecting different kind of checks variants so that you can uh, burn and redeem uh, better checks in total. Uh, with Opepen we don't know what will happen yet, but the idea is that uh, Jack will create some kind of a PFP, a profile picture, uh, because everything, the whole run for Opepen started with a single tweet for Jack saying that uh, Opepen, PFP, and the question mark. And that was it. And then the price from for Opepen went from 0 0.2 to 0 0.7 ETH, basically. Uh, really cool thing. So Jack Butcher is really the pioneer of this kind of playing with art, changing metadata. So if you revisit the collections, you really see different things appearing here. Uh, and it's really, really cool. Uh, second on my list of those kind of collections is Kevin Abosh. Kevin Abosh is a well-known artist with... Uh, multiple very interesting art pieces and he decided to make his own open edition uh, which actually he stopped at some point so because there are so many people trying to mint it at the same time so he stopped that and then he started really playing around he really um, underlines each time that art is not a game and it should be just for the collectors but on the other hand uh, he really gamifies the whole experience of owning his art. Uh, you can basically uh, buy and then burn for something as open edition. So open edition was uh, the, all, all the arts were the open edition with this kind of metadata and then you can burn and redeem either ki I, different kind of metadata. That was super interesting uh, in total. So this is another way of gamifying the experience. Also, uh, Kevin Abosh started to, uh, for example, sending a free NFT art to some of the users, uh, started doing a different kind of uh, events around uh, those burn and redeem uh, events. So, so really, that, that was really interesting gamification of the whole concepts of open edition. Uh, I really like what's happening here and following Kevin Abosh as well. Uh, really great ideas as well. Uh, on a different note, there's notable Pepes. So Pepes, uh, this is coming from Vincent, a well-known builder in a, uh, in a web free space. He basically started with uh, this kind of massive Pepe Checks collection. Basically, people were allowed to mint up to 100 in a single transaction. So all in all, in total, people minted uh, 257,000 Pepe Checks. So this, of course, Pepe Checks uh, is making a wink to uh, Jack Butcher collections of checks. Uh, but then it turned out that those Pepe Checks uh, are kind of a raffle ticket to get uh, on the white list or the allow list for other NFTs, which are more in the fashion of Punk 6529 uh, memes. Uh, I was talking about the memes and, and the whole ecosystem in another video, so I won't repeat that here, but basically uh, what Punk 6529 started was this whole new interest in this kind of collectible cards. Uh, Vincent is running pepes.wtf. Uh, 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 this is the website for uh, buying and trading rare pepes as well as fake pepes. Those are the well-known NFTs from the Bitcoin community. From They were coming even before, some of them before the CryptoPunks. Um, and he decided this way to actually start making the PepeCheckSB an entry level into new fake 
Pepe's and new Pepe card. So uh, you basically get a raffle ticket this way and each Sunday uh, there is a mint for new, new cards that you can see here. So this is also a pretty interesting concept. Um, so also only developing right now and it seems like uh, Vincent is able to uh, really get very interesting artists from the original uh, rare Pepe's on Bitcoin. So that's very cool. Um, and new art is coming as well. So for example, you have this Nakamoto card, which is right now Notamoto, uh, a play on the one of the most famous uh, Nakamoto uh, Pepe, Pepe cards. Uh, so that's the thing. Another thing uh, that I want to say finally is the collection Seize the Meeps. This is basically following the Punk 6529 call to action and the outline of the program that is open about the different uh, remings and different kind of variations of his cards. But actually what uh, Sergito is doing with this collection is really amazing, mostly because he centers everything around me beats, but also he it's not like simple uh, remastering the old cards from Punk 6529. Maybe the, only the first one was the Seize the Meeps of production, but all the others are playing around um, around the, the whole Web3 culture. And also uh, he's really getting really great artists onto the platform and getting the, the, the cards. So you can see that some of the cards are really amazing. Actually, most of them are. Uh, you have also display on the Nakamoto card that's ha uh, here. So you have Nakamip too. Uh, a really great collection as well. It got a bit of hype in the beginning, uh, which really influenced the prices. Then the prices fall down. And I think this is uh, right now probably the most affordable collections out of the four uh, I have mentioned. Uh, it's easy to start collecting this kind of cards. So basically, open editions, uh, the one which survived are engaging users by gamifying the whole experience, by giving you access to some new means, some new burns, some new art that you are collecting. Uh, so this is really a great take on, generally speaking, collecting cards. Like, you know, in, in the real life you have uh, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, sports cards and all that kind of stuff. And uh, they they managed to grab the attention of people by introducing new, new variants, new cards. Uh, not, all, not all of them are successful, but in the end, uh, people are uh, drawn to new stuff, new flashy stuff. And in this case, it's new art. Uh, it's some kind of an event where you can do one thing to receive another one. And it's really, really cool. So I leave you with those four collections. I'm, I'm going to provide all the links down below to all four collections if you want to start. And let me know in the comments which one you like the most. Of course, subscribe to my channel for more updates on different NFT collections, DeFi protocols, new chains, and everything else in crypto. See you in the next video.